Hello, here we are going to do a double replacement prediction reaction. We have calcium acetate reacts with sodium carbonate. Okay, so we're using a lot of polyatomic ions in this one. So get out your poly sheets so that you can look at their charges. Calcium's a plus two. Acetate C2H3O2. We put that force field around him because he's a minus one or because he's a poly, but he's also a minus one. The two goes over there for the crisscross. Reacts with sodium carbonate. Again, another part um, poly, CO3 minus two. And then it's a double replacement because we have a, both of them are couples. So the cations are gonna swap. Okay, the cations are always the first ones. So sodium is now gonna be with acetate. They're a plus one, minus one, so they're a basic ship. And calcium is now gonna be with carbonate, which again is a plus two, minus two, so I don't have to do crisscrossing for either of those. I'm gonna rewrite CaC2H3O2, calcium acetate plus sodium carbonate. And I wouldn't actually need to rewrite those brackets if I didn't want to, the parentheses. Yield sodium acetate and calcium carbonate. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the polys together because that's gonna help my balancing. Calcium, acetate, sodium, carbonate. If you did not wanna keep them together, yes, you could just have just elements there. Remember, when we have polys, those are the only ones that keep their subscripts in the chart because everybody else recombines at a different ratio. Calcium, one, acetate, two, sodium, two, carbonate, one. Sodium, one, acetate, one. It's because there's all those C2H3O2. Remember, that's in the force field. If I were to write parentheses, there would be a one outside of it. Calcium, one, carbonate, one. So we can see from here that both the sodium and the acetate need two. So that's just a two right there. And we're balanced.